Hello everyone, you're once more welcome to your Science World channel. And uh, today we shall be looking at diffusion, some structural questions from your chemistry IGCSC past papers. Question one, explain each of the following in terms of the kinetic particle theory. A, the rate of most reactions increases at higher temperatures. The first thing you need to say here is that at higher temperatures, the particles gain kinetic energy. So the particles gain kinetic energy. Oh, sorry. So I forgot my arrow. So they gain kinetic energy. Now, when they gain kinetic energy, they move faster. They move faster. They also collide more of them. So just these three points will it's enough for your three marks, okay? These three points will score all your three marks. But however, if you wish to continue, you could tell them that after they collide more often, there will be, there will be more effective collisions. There will be more effective or better still you can say successful collisions. Successful collisions are simply uh, those collisions that are effective, that actually led to what a new product being formed. All right, so those are successful collisions, and you could also say there will be there will be uh, you, you have more particles, you have more particles. You have more particles with with energy with energy greater than the activation energy. Greater than the activation energy. That's your EA, right? And your activation energy is that minimum amount of energy, the minimum amount of energy for a chemical reaction to occur, all right? Or better still, the minimum amount of energy uh, for the reactants to react in order to form products or to be converted to your product. That's your activation energy. Now, let's move to the second part. Good, the B part says, the B part says, a liquid has a fixed volume but takes up the shape of the container. A gas takes up the shape of the container, but it does not have a fixed volume. So what, what's, what's, what's so common between these two guys or these two, this, uh, these two people, you can call them, What's common between the liquid and the gas particles here is that they take up the shape of the container, all right? So why would they take up the shape of the container? That's because the particles, the particles in liquids and gases, they are able to move randomly. They move randomly in all directions, okay? So they move randomly in all directions. Now I could continue, but I would like to give a paragraph because this is a bit contradictory. Secondly, they said, uh, they, also, they also said, 
it has a fixed volume. Liquid has a fixed volume, but so, uh, gases do not have a fixed volume. So why is that so? So you could tell them that for gases, you have a, how can I put this? There are weak forces, okay? There are weak forces of attraction. So we have weak forces of attraction between gas particles, okay? Between gas particles. And if they have weak forces of attraction, they easily separate. They easily separate. And what? Move further apart. So they move further apart to feel the entire volume. Okay? So they move further apart to feel the entire volume. Hence, that's why the uh, they don't have fixed volume, okay? They don't have fixed volume. Moreover, you could also, you could also, instead of saying this, instead of saying uh, about the weak force of attraction in gas particles, you could also talk about the, the strong forces of attraction in liquid particles, okay? Yeah, so you could also talk about the, uh, the strong forces of attraction in liquid particles, that they are not able to separate easily and hence they can't just you know feel the entire volume all right they actually take their time so that's why they will have a fixed volume for liquid particles good so we move to the second question concentrated ammonia solution gives off ammonia gas Concentrated hydrochloric acid gives off hydrogen chloride gas. Ammonia and hydrogen chloride are both colorless gases. Ammonia reacts with hydrogen chloride to make the white solid ammonium chloride. So you have the apparatus over here. After 10 minutes, a white solid forms in the tube where the gases meet. A Roman one, write the chemical reaction or the chemical equation for the reaction of ammonia with hydrogen chloride. So what are the two reactants here? Let's check it out. We have ammonia and hydrogen chloride, all right? So you have ammonia gas plus uh, hydrogen chloride gas gives you the product from here should be ammonium chloride, and that's a white solid there. So you, you have your white solid. Let's check if the equation is balanced. You have one nitrogen, one nitrogen. I think four hydrogen atoms here, four as well, one chlorine atom on both sides. Name the process by which the ammonia and hydrogen chloride gases move in the tube. So they move to the process of diffusion. diffusion at which point a b c or d does the white solid form at which point do you think it's going to use the the white solid is going to form so if we have ammonia here and we have hydrochloric acid now you need to determine which of them will move faster okay so this is your hydrogen chloride gas and your ammonia you have to actually get their molecular masses. So what's the molecular mass of hydrogen chloride? You have one plus, you can check your period table. Hydrogen is one and your chlorine is 35.5, okay? So we move to 35.5 and that gives you 36.5. Now for, nit uh, for nitrogen or ammonia, where is nitrogen? Nitrogen is 14. So we come here, we put 14 plus 
hydrogen we just saw that which is one times three and that gives you 14 plus 370. so you see that uh your your ammonia has a low molecular mass so it's kind of lighter so your ammonia is lighter and it's going to diffuse more they're going to move more okay so we expect the white solid to form at a so the white solid forms at a why because lighter ammonia you can see lighter ammonia or low molecular mass ammonia moves faster Then AV hydrogen chloride gas. Okay. So lighter ammonia diffuses faster than your heavy hydrogen chloride gas. The experiment was repeated at a higher temperature. Predict how. The results of the experiment would be different. Explain your answer. Explain your answer, okay? So the white solid, at higher temperatures, what happens? The particles actually move faster, okay? So the white solid forms at a shorter time. The white solid forms at a shorter time. Why? Because the particles gain more energy and diffuses faster. So the particles gain energy and diffuses faster. So this is actually some of the basic questions or structural questions on diffusion and uh, just keep in touch or stay tuned to our channel because we're going to upload as many questions as possible, okay? So if you have any question, any doubts, any misconception, kindly keep us a comment in the section below or write us through our emails and we'll be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you and see you another time.